Load a wide flat brush with bright yellow and begin covering the entire surface of your canvas. I'm using a one and a half inch wash brush. Give your canvas two coats or until the color is even. And don't forget to paint the top, bottom, and sides of your canvas too. Then, step away and let it dry. Go have a snack or watch an episode of your favorite TV show. When the yellow has dried, lay a sheet of carbon paper or graphite paper on top of your canvas, making sure to place the shiny side down. You can find carbon or graphite paper at your local office supply store or by using the affiliate link below. Lay your free traceable on top of the graphite paper and make sure the image is centered on your canvas. Secure it with a bit of masking tape on each side. Then, take a basic ballpoint pen and begin tracing around the image. You want to press firmly, but not so much as to tear the paper or damage the canvas beneath. Carefully peel off the carbon paper and the stencil. Your canvas should look like this. Now we're ready to paint the logo. Take a small angled brush and fill in the trace logo with black paint. Now you can stop right here and have a nice Batman logo painting. But if you want the grunge look that I showed in the beginning of the video, then follow along with the next steps. While the painting is still wet, take a paper towel and wad it up. Begin dabbing at the black paint, smearing and smudging it. This is going to give it that grunge look we're after. Add some more black paint and dab again. Then add a bit of that steel gray and repeat with the dabbing. Making sure to spread some of the color onto the upper right and lower left of your canvas. To get that dripped paint look, we're going to add a few drops of water to our paint and mix until it's runny. Stand your canvas up and then paint some drops near the bottom center of your logo with a small round brush. Let the paint drip down. Add some more drops to the bottom points of each bat wing. Lay your canvas flat, grab your paper towel, and dab again. Now drip that same brush into some of that runny paint and let it drip near the top points of your bat ears and wings. And then dab at those. When you're done, your painting should look something like this. Now don't forget to sign and date your artwork. 